I've never had as much appreciation for mobile devices such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops before the pandemic. And it's kind of strange to think about it because we now spend more or majority of our time indoors. So wouldn't it make more sense to invest in something like the desktop, which is something that is more easily upgradable and in the long run, it's going to cost you less to maintain. But having spent majority of the last two years indoors, I realized that mobility is very important, even in a setting where you are confined indoors most of the time. Which brings us to this device that we are opening up today. The Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro. So looking at this very small strip of sticker right here, tells us that we do have a slate gray Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro, 14 inch 2.8K OLED display, and the Ryzen 9 5900HS chipset with maximum clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte SSD storage. And it also has discrete GPU, which is MX450. So it runs Windows 10 Home out of the box. This top portion is sealed as well as the bottom portion. So the first box that we're taking out is the power supply unit. Let's open it. So here's the plug. Is this a Thunderbolt connector? I'm hoping it is USB Type-C at least. Oh, it is. Very nice. So the power here is rated at 95 watts. Wow. That's a total power draw or the TDP of this laptop. And we have a smaller box inside for the actual product. Wow, guys. This is the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro. And you can see just how small and how slim this box is right here. So the actual unit itself must be even thinner and smaller it actually kind of looks like what you'd expect from a tablet all right yoga one down There you go. This is the Lenovo Yoga 7 Pro. Okay, so if you look at it from up close, you have this nice brushed steel look. This is slate gray according to the box. And at the back, you have this vent at the top. And there are rubber paddings at the upper edge and two paddings at the bottom to allow for airflow going from the back and to a side. Ta -da! Information about their customer service right here. It's always a good indicator if a manufacturer puts a lot of effort in making you feel like you are important and that your satisfaction is something that matters to them. We have the keypad area right here 
there's a trackpad area at the bottom pretty standard layout the function key is beside the windows keys i myself use a lenovo notebook pc for my daily driver so i'm fairly used to this layout but some of you who are used to other layouts might take some time to adjust to this keyboard right here here's the screen 2.8 k 14 inch oled display on the left edge you find two usb type c ports according to the spec sheet these are fully functional USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports that supports PD 3.0, that's power delivery standard, as well as display port 1.4. Now on the right edge, you find the power button, USB type A port, as well as a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So the machine is not turning on, which only means that we don't have any battery life. So we're gonna have to plug it in. So as soon as we plugged in the machine, it just started booting up. You'll notice that there's a light right here beside the one of the USB Type-C ports. It tells you that it is drawing power. There's also a light over at the power button, indicator light, telling you that it is turned on. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay, so... Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. So... If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, okay so... Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Okay, so I'm the region is set to the United States. Is that right? Okay, so I'm getting audio from two speakers, one right here and another one around somewhere around here. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Hell yeah. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Now let's get you connected to a network. I just noticed one thing while I was setting up the facial rec recognition for security purposes. There is a light that turns on right beside the webcam to tell you that it is activated. So I think that's a nice touch. It's nice to see that we still managed to get a webcam at the top edge and it doesn't eat up a lot of the real estate at the top. We finally finished going through the setup process and this is the desktop i love the fact that the bezels are very thin of course this is the 14 inch 2.8k display and the colors are very vibrant because we have an oled panel the blacks are deep and the overall image quality or picture quality that i'm getting from this device is really good so this is a huge plus for those of you who are into creative work. So looking at the display settings, we're running at a native resolution of 2800 by 1800, which is a lot of real estate to be packed into a 14 inch form factor. This comes into play if you need a lot of real estate, especially for creatives who are into photo editing, video editing, you need a lot of space for those control panels. The more screen real estate you have, it means that you'll be able to fit more of those panels onto such a small screen. So this is our one terabyte SSD and by default we've already consumed 47 gigs for the operating system and for the built-in apps out of the box. So we are left with around 972 gigabytes of usable space. Well, it, says, it only says you're 905 gigabytes so we're gonna go with the lower number here. So here's the system information page. Tells us that we have 16 gigs of RAM and a 64-bit operating system. Windows 10 Home, single language. By the way, I forgot to add that the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro supports 90 Hertz native refresh rate. So there's an option here to change to a higher refresh rate. By default, it was set to 60 Hertz. So we're gonna set it to 90 Hertz now. 
and we're gonna keep settings so now we're running at a refresh rate of 90 hertz on our desktop and I like how the default theme is in dark mode as well we gotta love dark mode especially if you have an OLED display Another thing that I wanted to highlight is the fact that we have a Wi-Fi 6 network interface card installed on this machine and that is very beneficial if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router or a Wi-Fi 6 network although currently it's not as widespread as Wi-Fi 5 but for those of you who already have a Wi-Fi 6 network you're going to be able to take advantage of the additional speed boost that comes with Wi-Fi 6. So right now we're connected at a speed of 1.2 gigabits per sec. We are connected to a Wi-Fi 6 router, the TP-Link Watcher AX23. So right now I'm testing the webcam. I couldn't find that much information about the webcam. It appears to be decent, workable. It's not as high def as you would get from a dedicated external webcam. It will get the job done if you're gonna be traveling and this is all that you're gonna be taking with you. I'd say just get a good light source and you'll have very nice picture on your webcam for your Zoom meetings or your Teams or whatever. The Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro also comes with dual mics. I'm not entirely sure where the mics are placed, I guess we'll just have to judge for ourselves once we hear the output of this sample video. So obviously the Lenovo Yoga 7 Slim is a very, very beautiful and very portable device. There's no doubt that this is something that you would want to take with you everywhere you go as your daily driver. But this being the Pro variant is something that we are going to hold at a much higher standard and that's very important for creatives like us if we're going to be doing creative work on the go then you would want a very capable device now it does have the ryzen 9 chipset which is a very powerful chipset especially for doing creative work video editing photo editing ryzen 9 is going to shine with its multi-threaded capabilities it has a somewhat capable discrete GPU in the NVIDIA GeForce MX450. Then finally you have ample memory, 16 gigs of DDR4, which in my experience is more than enough to drive your heavy creative applications, be it Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, uh, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, etc. Another important feature that I look for in mobile devices is the battery life and according to the website, this machine is going to last you around 9.4 hours. So I'm hoping that it holds up to that standard. It's something that I have yet to test. I haven't even fully charged the machine yet. We just took it out of the box and just plugged it in and now it's at 70%. So the battery life is something that I'll have to experience for myself in the coming days. So let's summarize. The Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro lives up to the name. It's super slim. This thing here weighs only 1.3 kilos, which is almost nothing. It is one of the thinnest notebook PCs that I've ever laid my hands on. The edges of the screen is super thin, or the bezels rather. So it gives you an illusion that you have more real estate in the 14 inch form factor. You're also running at a much higher native resolution, 2800 by 1800 pixels, and a much higher refresh rate of 90 Hertz. Having an OLED panel means that you'll be able to get much deeper blacks and much more vibrant colors. Audio performance is also acceptable. It is equipped with dual loudspeakers. We would have wanted something better, something deeper, but of course, you have the form factor to consider. And it's also nice to see that managed to fit in a webcam at the top edge of the screen. Moving to the pro aspect, you have a very powerful and very capable chipset in the AMD Ryzen 9 5900. You have 16 gigs of DDR4 dual channel RAM, one terabyte of SSD storage. And of course, for creatives who work with applications that can take advantage of discrete GPUs 
such as 3D modeling, image editing, photo editing, video production, you have a dedicated discrete GPU, and in this case, it's the NVIDIA GeForce 950MX. And as a fallback, you have the integrated chipset, which is the AMD Radeon GPU. In addition to that, you can also take advantage of the additional speed that you can get from Wi-Fi 6 access points with the built-in Wi-Fi 6 receiver. And not to mention, this also has a Bluetooth 5.1 receiver. According to the spec sheet, the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro runs for up to 12 hours in Mobile Mart 2018. So, do you have any questions about the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro? You know what to do, just drop them in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as you can. In the meantime, looking forward to those likes and to those comments. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!